Good inventory control is a critical cost management tool for industry. It starts with understanding what products are being used for specific tasks and how much, then keeping just enough to ensure your company can meet customer demand. Here are some tips for avoiding situations where your inventory and demand are out of balance. Keep only what you need on hand. Keeping extra materials around might seem like good preparation, but this encourages improper use and makes it harder to identify. When people have access to more materials, they're more likely to use too much or use the wrong thing, especially with cleaners and solvents. Consider the costs of excess materials. You may need additional storage space, which may have other requirements such as climate control. There are also greater consequences from fires, storms, or simple facility issues like water leaks. If demand drops, you may have material you can't use or product you can't sell. Either you keep storing them in case demand goes up or you dispose of them and your inputs become waste without ever having been used for their intended purpose. Centralize inventory storage. Keeping track of where materials are in the facility is a key step to preventing excess waste of raw materials. That includes limiting the number of places that a material is stored, controlling access to those places, and limiting the active units of a material. For example, if a bottle of solvent used to clean parts is left unattended, it may be assumed to be contaminated and disposed of prematurely, and this is more likely if people can grab multiple bottles of the same thing. For materials that expire or degrade over time, it is important to ensure that materials are used in the order they are obtained, commonly known as first in, first out. Good inventory control practices can reduce waste, emissions, cost, and even safety risks. Not sure where to start? The Pollution Prevention Institute offers technical assistance. Call us at 800-578-8898 or email us at ksu-ppi at ksu.edu.